Trailblazers. Well, with with the addition of Shaquille O'Neal, there are going to be a lot of firsts for the Orlando Magic and Matty Gukas. Uh, this young man has come into the league and made such an impact on the floor, outside of it, with the attention that he's drawn and how he's handled himself. And this is a pretty good basketball team right now. Well, the Magic with three straight wins on the road. They're three out of three on this five-game road trip. Barkley had it, but lost it. Right, Bob, as you see, the Phoenix Suns with a 12-10 lead on the Orlando Magic. And we've seen a, a matchup last couple of minutes of Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal. Earlier, Mike had an opportunity to talk with Charles about going up against Shaquille. I'm not going to stick my hand up there and get no poster shot. No, I'm not crazy. I've been around too long to go up try to block his duck. Now, I'm, I'm either going to make him shoot a fadeaway jumper, and if he goes around me, I'm going to just go to the other end and try to get the two back for myself. But I'm not going to get any poster shots. You can be rest assured of that. But to this point, he's done a good job in boxing out, using his uh, positional skills to get a couple of rebounds. Well, he's going to accept the challenge of going up against Shaquille O'Neal. And what surprises me is that Paul Westfall went to this small team very early. Last game against the Lakers, it was about two minutes and 40 seconds left. In Down low against Chambers. O'Neal gets inside. Shaquille O'Neal looking unstoppable here in the early going. O'Neal complaining he thought he was fouled. The Magic 20, the Suns 18. Barkley is fouled. Hammer. That's the second for Shaquille. Shaquille not going to give up the dunk that time. Comes over, has a clear shot, a good look at it. The foul call that time with the body contact on the Shaq. Charles Barkley coming off a 10 of 18, 20 from making passes. Brown wanted to travel, Skiles to the left hand, rebounded by Chambers. Barkley to the crossover, a nice thing. Shaquille O'Neal did not want to pick up a third, but a, a pretty thing by Barkley. And Matty Cook was trying to get a little bit of help from the official, wanted to... Matty Gukas and his Orlando Magic leading the Phoenix Suns 24-22 as you watch the pull-up by Barkley. So Charles with eight points. Timeout has been taken. We'll be back in a moment. They are not using the his three-point attempts. He has the third most taken on this team. He's shooting just over 28% from the three-point line. And Paul understands, Paul Westfall, that you live with it and you move on. Phoenix Suns have outscored the Orlando Magic. Fruity wide open. He's been off. Rebound, Barkley. Foul by Shaquille O'Neal. And that is his third. <laughs> Try to keep a body on Charles Barkley to cut down the number of times he comes up with second shot opportunities. In this particular situation, the best thing for Shaq, just stay away from him, let him have the basket. The third foul on Shaq, they'll have to get him out of the game. Charles Barkley, 0 for 2 from the line. The Suns lead by four, and yes, Shaquille will have to head back to the bench. He's replaced by Terry Catledge. Terry Catledge last week, very unhappy about his lack of playing time. In fact, sat out an entire game and expressed... quarter, three fouls, and a 35-minute repair time log after he nearly brought the basket and the support down with what for him was just a moderate display of strength. You know, he's been disqualified from five games this year uh, after fouling out, so that's one weakness in his game as a rookie, and he picked up three fouls, and that kind of limited him in the second quarter, all 14 of his points in the first quarter, and the Suns went on a 13-5 run. Minutes before they get the brand new structure in, Marv. Thank you, Dan. That is on the spot reporting the, the new backboard racing in behind Dan as he speaks. And the players apparently are headed back to their respective locker room. We will have a brief delay. 
There's the man, Shaquille O'Neal, who took the entire apparatus down with him. Jack Madden just came over to give an explanation of what will take place. Jack Madden reported that they are going to replace the entire structure. It will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes to do that. Both teams have been allowed to go back to the locker room, and they will be allowed then to warm up again before the game continues. Nick Anderson coming off the hot shooting game on Friday night. And Charles Barkley got inside Shaquille O'Neal. Right now, what Paul Westfall has done is gone to his small team on the floor. No Mark West out there. It's Barkley playing Shaquille. Yes, Danny Ainge has come on as part of that substitution pattern. Charles puts the body and actually moves Shaq out of there as he jumps for the basketball. You need to keep body contact, especially when you're giving up seven or eight inches. And a foul called on Shaquille O'Neal. Do you think there's any chance that Shaquille could be affected subconsciously by taking the basket down? No, I think it's just one more thing that he's realizing during his uh, brief career here in the NBA, and uh, he's just going to add that to the list of other amazing things that he's accomplished, and that's not going to bother him one bit. No, I, I mean in terms of uh, affecting how hard he goes to the hoop. Barkley won't count. Offensive foul. It's a charge on Charles, who's upset. That's his first foul. And a technical foul on Charles for kicking the basketball. Charles felt he was moving to his right, floating sideways. He did not come straight on to the defensive player, the official, with a different angle, sort a different way. The technical against Barkley, putting Skiles on the line. Orlando 55 and Phoenix 50. Nick Anderson. Magic 61. And the Sun 60. Barkley through the pack. That is number four on Shaquille. And it shouldn't have happened. What actually took place was Shaquille noticed that no one had picked up Charles Barkley coming down. So Shaquille comes on out to get him. Charles with the little head fake. Ball fake gets him in the air and then initiates contact. Someone must stop the ball sooner. Earlier, Nick Anderson was caught with two people, couldn't make a decision which way to go. Shaq picks up the foul. Barkley only one out of four at the line. Well, Matt Gukas has not made a move. Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, the gorilla, the Phoenix Suns mascot, doing his uh, finest impression of Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Enjoyed by the Shaq man. <laughs> Shaquille earlier taking the backboard down. That was two and a half minutes gone of the... During the timeout, Shaquille O'Neal did report to the scorer's table. He will come on. He has five fouls, 4-17 remaining in the fourth quarter, and Phoenix leads Orlando 104-99. It's been a sensational shooting game. Look at Phoenix in this fourth quarter, 12 of 15, Orlando 7 of 13, Charles Barkley with 26, 12 of the 26 in the fourth, and Richard Dumas with 27. That equals his career high. On the Orlando side, Nick Anderson with 25 points. Shaquille O'Neal has 20, and Scott Skiles with 22. Again, Barkley guarding O'Neal. Royal with the head fake. Anderson kept it alive. Barkley snatches his 16th NBA doubleheader on the game of the week. 38 points for the Suns here in the fourth. Make it 40. Charles Barkley has 28. Charles said yesterday, sometimes the basket seems so big, I just can't miss. The game goes frame by frame in slow motion. Charles, the quick turnaround look. Now, he's done it every way today. He's dumped him. He's been on fast breaks. He's faced up, and he loves it.